life of a mobster holds many promises, but it typically ends with a closed casket. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 mob hits in movies. For this list, we're chronicling mob hits in movies best described as unforgettable, shocking, and over the top. I haven't killed anybody since 1984. For the sake of variety, we've narrowed down the entries to one per franchise. These have to be successful hits and not crimes of passion. <laughs> Due to the nature of this list, beware of spoilers. You have been warned. Number 10. Spats and his crew, some like it hot. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny. Isn't this movie supposed to be a comedy? What happened here? There was something in that cake that didn't agree with him. <laughs> After witnessing the infamous St. Valentine's Day Massacre, musicians Joe and Jerry escape a similar fate at the hands of Spats Columbo and his henchmen. I think they got me. I think they got me. They got the bull fiddle. No blood? If they catch us, there'll be blood all over. Tight all. Come on. Spat's bold actions and inability to take care of the witnesses greatly displease little Bonaparte, who, in a show of good faith, surprises Spats with an early birthday cake. And just to show you what I think of you, Spats, the boys tell me you was going to have a birthday. So we baked you a little cake. My birthday? Why, it ain't for another four months. Spats is apprehensive, but goes along with the celebration, failing to see the death trap that's hidden in the cake. <laughs> Looks like he won't live to see his next birthday. Big joke. Number nine, Brett, Pulp Fiction. You know who we are? We're associates of your business partner, Marcellus Wallace. You do remember your business partner, don't you? Brett underestimated the consequences of stealing from Marcellus Wallace. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? What country are you from? What? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and what? Whatever the mysterious content of the briefcase was, it warranted a visit from Wallace's trusted hitmen, Vincent Vega and Jules Winfield. We happy? Vincent! We happy? Yeah, we happy. Brett's attempt to defuse the situation results in the death of his associate, who gets capped unceremoniously by Jules. I never... Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? The iconic scene is best known for Jules' monologue, as he recites a Bible passage with as much impassioned fury as the words themselves, before he and Vincent rain vengeance upon Brett with gunfire. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Yeah! Number 8. Jimmy Hoffa, Hoffa. We'll never know what really happened to Jimmy Hoffa, who mysteriously vanished in 1975. Never let a stranger in your cab, in your house, or in your heart, unless he is a friend of labor. His disappearance inspired many theories, but one of the most persistent is that he was murdered for his involvement with organized crime. Somebody gotta shoot that motherfucker. Let him organize it dead. This biographical movie ends with Hoffa portrayed by Jack Nicholson, waiting in the backseat of his car outside a diner in Detroit. The last place the real life Hoffa was seen alive. Mr. Hoffa? Yeah, that's right. A hitman disguised as a driver takes the opportunity and shoots a trapped Hoffa repeatedly. He then puts the bodies of Hoffa and his friend and associate in the back of an 18-wheeler, never to be seen again. Number 7. David Kleinfeld, Carlito's Way You ripped him off, didn't you? Who? Tony T. You did take the million dollars, didn't you? Kleinfeld is not only a crooked lawyer who stole money from his mob boss client, Tony T. Tagliolucci, but he's also a murdering snitch. You tell me how it feels when 
the f***ing crabs coming out of your f***ing eyes. After killing Tony T and his son, Kleinfeld narrowly escapes an attempt on his life. <laughs> While recovering, he's confronted by Tony T's other son, who's set on avenging his family. There's a delivery for you, Mr. Kleinfeld. From who? From my father and my brother. Kleinfeld thinks he has the upper hand, only to realize that Carlito Brigante unloaded his gun in retaliation for selling him out. Adios, counselor. Leaving Kleinfeld at the mercy of his killer is such a cold but satisfying send-off. Number 6. Nikki and Dominic Santoro, Casino I mean, it was still way too hot for me to even go near Vegas, so I set up a meeting with the guys way out in the sticks. Because they're the more volatile and outspoken members of their organization, and for some other more revenge-based reasons, said organization makes examples of Nikki and his brother. The word was out. The boss has had enough for Nikki. They had enough. How much were they going to take? So they made an example of him and his brother. Unable to do anything but watch, Nikki witnesses the brutal bludgeoning of his brother by his own crew. The act is so gruesome that even those wielding the bats show disgust and hesitation before Frankie delivers the killing blow, putting Dominic out of his misery. Still breathing, leave him alone. Frankie! <clears throat> Nikki is also beaten and thrown in the same grave, drawing his last breaths while being buried alive with his dead brother beside him. Come on, come on. <clears throat> Number five, Sunny Red, Donnie Brasco. <laughs> Ooh, the irony. Yeah, nothing like a surprise Sonny Black is gonna get. Yeah, see that again. <laughs> Put one right here. He'll never know what hit him. Three mafiosi walk into a basement, joking about how their intended victims won't see them coming, only to bite the dust themselves. Oh, the rings right there. The Jesus. Oh, no. Oh. Ah, ah. The laughter dies, and the slaughter begins as Sonny Red and his associates are seriously wounded. Oh. 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 Their suffering is drawn out, while the killers scramble to reload and take out the remaining survivors. This scene is memorable for how realistic and messy the hits are, compared to the cleaner kills we often see on screen. We also love the addition of a claw hammer to the gunfire. Number 4. Billy Costigan, The Departed This f***ing kill me. This f***ing kill me. I am killing you. We really didn't see this one coming, but considering the movie's title, we guess we should have. You know where that dirtball started his life? Southie Projects. What was his name? The Departed. Following the discovery of Sullivan as the mole, Costigan takes him to the elevator as a hostage, and we feel satisfied the hunt is over. Did you shoot this f***ing prick? You know who I am! You know who I am! I'm taking him down! I'm taking him downstairs now! Once the doors open, our sense of relief is snatched away as Costigan is suddenly shot in the head by yet another mob mole in the precinct. Despite the jarring turn of events, it's comforting to see Sullivan himself get iced in the end. Okay. Number three, Tommy DeVito, Goodfellas. Hey, how many years ago was he was made? Nah, I'm an old fan. 30 years ago. 30 years, huh? Yeah. For an organization like the Mafia, keeping a loose cannon breathing is not an option. What happened? They whacked him. They whacked Tommy DeVito has a lot of character, but is unpredictable and has quite the short fuse. I tell you, you've been doing this all fucking night to me, you mother After being insulted by Billy Bats, Tommy kills him in a fit of rage. Despite his efforts to hide the body of this made man, Tommy is killed in retribution for the murder. As far as Jimmy was concerned, with Tommy being made, it was like we were all being made. We would now have one of our own as a member. 
Like a lamb to the slaughter, Tommy is drawn to a meeting under the pretense that he'll become a made man, only to be shot in the back of the head. Oh, no. Number two, Tony Montana, Scarface. You think you can take me? Give me a f***ing army, you're going to take me! It's not often that a target gets to fight back before going six feet under. You want more? <laughs> Angered by Tony's betrayal, Kingpin Alejandro Sosa sends a gang to eliminate him. I told you a long time ago, you f***ing little monkey, not to f*** me! Tony stands his ground, clipping his would-be killers with an M16, equipped with a grenade launcher. Do you wanna play us? Okay! No. Say hello to my little friend! However, his cocaine-induced mania and ongoing exchange of gunfire has him oblivious to the hitman that sneaks up from behind. The cherry on the sundae of this iconic mob hit is Tony's dramatic plunge into the fountain below, with the neon lettering on the statue ironically punctuating the scene. Before we lay to rest our number one mob hit, here are some honorable mentions. Go on, get your ass out of here! Look in your heart. Look in your heart. What hurt? I didn't mean that. Jeez, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. That's right. <laughs> Get the out of here, Frank. Oh, what you gonna do? What the you gonna do, Frank? Huh? What you doing? You gonna shoot me in front of everybody? Huh? Come on. Number one, Sonny Corleone, The Godfather. Brutte notizie dell'America. Tuo frate Santino. Hanno ammazzato. While the execution scene of Virgil the Turk Salazzo and Captain Mark McCluskey is one of our favorites, we had to go with Sonny Corleone's over the top and iconic death. I don't want his mother to see him as Family ties can make you strong, but they can also become quite the blind spot. While Sonny's on his way to rescue his sister from her abusive husband, he's ambushed and gunned down by rival mobsters armed with Tommy guns. The brutal assassination can only be classified as overkill. But the bloodshed doesn't end there, as Carlo Rizzi would later be garroted for his role in Sonny's death. Hello, Carlo. Uh, uh. Mob life is rough. Uh. Do you agree with our list? I drew up on the first one, you believe that? Or have we missed the mark? You tell the angels in heaven you never seen evil so singularly personified as you did in the face of the man who killed you. Which mob hit was unforgettable for you? And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. For more top 10s full of nostalgic hits published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. And why mess up a good thing? And that's that.